Hey, this is Trap Talk Radio. Trap Talk, trap music, and trap possibilities with Madam CJ and Rick D with two C's. Anything else is disrespectful. Right here on In Touch News, the reality radio where everyone is a star. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you're texting a friend to text a friend to tune in to the hottest radio station in the land and one of the best podcasts out there, Trap Talk Radio. Text them www.intouchnews.com or www.in-touchnews. Dot com And I want to hear from you because I got some stuff to talk about. And I know some of y'all, especially y'all in Tampa, are going to want to chime in and talk about it with me today, honey. So make sure you call in 813-444-9588. Again, it's 813-444-9588. It is going down in the trap, baby. We are here. Live and full effect, honey. If you haven't already, make sure you share this broadcast. Share this Broadcast! I'm so excited to have all of you guys um, tuning in with me today. I'm super excited about it. You know, and this show has been getting better and better and better every single time. I'm trying to push my iPad back so my Facebook people can be watching me and doing their thing. Um, but it's getting better and better. So I'm so grateful for all the people that are listening in and are supporting our brand and supporting this radio show. Make sure you guys let people know because we have some good things that we talk about. So um, it's Thursday, y'all, on the Trap Talk Radio. And the week is almost over. And so, y'all, but but even though the week is almost over, honey, the show is just getting started. And I have to let you guys know what I learned in the trap this week. So, it's juicy. I didn't have a very, very interesting week. Now, you know, this person that I have on here is, is Madam CJ. And I want to be transparent with Madam CJ, with, with you know, with, with you guys. Last week was a very tough week for me. Right. Thursday, to last Thursday to this Thursday, I kind of it, it, it was a little bit better, but it was tough. And it was tough because a lot of times in life, um, when you're doing some good things and you're making movements, the enemy will come at you and the enemy knows our weaknesses. You, you, we have to remember that. Right. As believers in whatever you want to believe in, I need you to know that whatever you consider the enemy, they know your weakness. Right. Um, I believe I. I, you know, I believe in Jesus Christ and I, and I serve an amazing God. And as much as he can pull me out and he could deliver me, I also know that the enemy, the devil, knows what I struggle with, knows my buttons as well. And so they push them, right? The enemy is going to push those buttons. The enemy is going to, when, when you're in that dark place, if he can pull you down in a darker place, he is going to do that. Remember that, right? He or she, whatever you want to believe the enemy is, they are going to do that. So the enemy did that to me. And by the grace of God, I believe that God sent me like some angels to help pull me out of those dark places. Right. But, in, in, you know, in, in some of the stress that I was dealing with, um, they always tell you and old people always tell me or whatever, you know, just believe, just believe and don't worry. Once again, I've admitted on this show, we've, we've had this show now for over a year. Can you believe it? Trap Talk Radio has been going on for over a year. I think we talked about it last week. We in there. We killing the game. Over a year. Yes, yes. I've always admitted, and I've been transparent. I've always admitted and been transparent that I am a controller. So for me to have to worry about things um, and not... Not to, to to let go and not worry. That is almost like an oxymoron. Like how I'm going to be a controller and let go and not worry. I should, right? I should because I I believe I serve an amazing God, but I don't. So, but once I decide to, there's there's been some times in my life, and there's I I often get to a place where I do decide I'm going to let go. I'm not going to worry about something, and it always works out for my good. So in this situation, um. The enemy tries to attack things that are dear to me. And I decided to just kind of like let go. And God worked it out where I'm going to be able to benefit tremendously from what the enemy did. Right? Imagine that. Imagine someone trying to come against you. Imagine someone trying to take something from you. And, it, and instead of them taking from you, they got to give to you. That's crazy. Right? That's crazy. Especially when you're not when you're when you're not doing anything wrong. Remember that. Remember that when you are in a good when you when you are doing the best that you can, you just try to y'all one of my nails broke. This is why I wear press ons. This is why I wear press ons right now. One of my nails broke and I gotta go to the nail shop and I gotta get my nails fixed. But if I had on my press ons, I could just go in my drawer and get my glue and I could press my nail back on. But nonetheless, 
it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Side note, it's all good. But <laughs> listen, when 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 you are doing good and you're going through, you have to believe that it's going to work out for your good. And I forgot that almost. I forgot that. So Sunday I was able to go to church and I was just thanking God that he loved me enough to send me a, send me an angel to send me a reminder. Now, granted that that reminder at the time was just a little birdie, right? It was a, I couldn't, I couldn't see it. I could just hear it. Right. I could just hear it's going to be okay. Trust me. You got it. Don't worry about it. You're doing the right thing. You're doing what I what I told you to do. And as, I, as an entrepreneur, I struggle with that. I struggle. Am I doing with what God wants me to do? Am I walking in my purpose? Because I'm going to tell you guys out there right now, anybody that's following the dream, anybody that's trying to make some, something happen, listen to this. Money is going to come and go. Purpose is going to remain the same. Same thing with love. When you're in a relationship, I believe love is going to come and go. Some days you may like somebody, some days you may not. But that purpose, if your purpose is aligned, if you're supposed to be together, right? If you're supposed to do something, I don't care what comes along. I don't care what storm, Dorian, Irma, Katrina, whoever comes along, that purpose is still going to remain. So remember that. And I'm, and you know, and Sometimes when I go through things, I have to remember, okay, God, you're telling me that you're, you're having me go through this just, just so I can, right? Just so I can tell somebody, just so I can have the strength. So when I make it, when I finally make it, I can actually have a sword because I was talking to someone, I didn't, re- by the grace of God, I didn't really have a bad childhood, right? So I can't say, oh, in my childhood, I had to endure X, Y, and Z and X. I didn't have that. I believe that my parents had to endure some things in their childhood so that I can have a good childhood. Right. But in my in these last 10 years of my adulthood, because I am pressing on 30 in December, just so everybody know my birthday is December 31st. If y'all want to buy me a gift, it's all good. I can send out uh, my business address. Feel free to mail me a gift to my address. But I believe that I've had to go through some things as an entrepreneur, as a woman, as um, as an adult. Right. Just so I can learn my lesson, just so I can help someone else. Right. So that's OK. But I often I struggle with it. Am I doing the right thing? Ah, ah. But God always sends a little, doo, 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 a little birdie. Doo, 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 right? It's all right, girl. You're doing the right thing. And it may not look how I want it to look. And and, and I'm telling, and I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but I'm telling you, it is okay if it doesn't look, look how you want it to look right now. And I'm talking to you and I'm reminding myself. So this week in the trap, I want to tell everybody who's listening. If you are doing the right thing and the enemy's trying to come against you and they're trying to take everything you had, they try, they're, trying to, they're trying to take everything you work for, don't give up because it's going to work out for your good. Do not give up. If you are doing what God has told you to do and you're doing the right thing and you're using every avenue that you know, a lot of times, sometimes we don't always use all the tools that we have, Right? We're not always using tools that we have. But if you are one of those people that are trying to use all the tools you have, doing everything that you're supposed to do, trying to do right by people, being ethical, don't worry about it. It's going to work out. Y'all got to call and tell me how you feel about it. I know I just kind of went on a tangent. I did not mean to preach to anybody today. If you guys want to give an offering, I will give my cash app. Feel free. If you want to give an offering, go ahead and comment some. Um. <laughs> money size you can go ahead and give your offer if you want to i'm not gonna deny it but i I am not here to preach today honey i'm not here to preach today but if you guys want to tell me how you feel about what i said or what i learned in the trap this week or you maybe you want to maybe you want to tell me an experience call me 813-444-9588 again it's 813-444-9588 and i mentioned a storm y'all know the hurricane is coming now two years ago for all us Floridians, because I know we we are on an international platform. For all the people that was in Florida, honey, Florida is some of the Panhandle. Well, the Panhandle in Florida got it last year with Michael, Hurricane Michael. Where you from? From the did you live in Florida last year? Okay, okay. So last year, Michael. Okay, yeah, so I don't know why we remember the hurricane names, but the panhandle got it last year with Michael, right? I mean, I'm, we were supposed to have a painting in the trap event like around mid October, but Michael had just came through and tore up Panama City, tore up the panhandle, so we had to move the event. It was all good. But the year before that, Irma came through, right? And I grew up, I'm, I'm a Tampanian, so I grew up in Tampa. You know, 
we didn't always have a whole bunch of we, now we had hurricanes come through but we didn't really take them seriously right we did not always take them seriously but honey when urban came through when they said that thing was going to be a, a, a category five and it was going to be as wide as the state of florida people started moving we started moving. They was getting sick. That, that was the first time that I almost felt a little nervous about a storm since I was a kid. I remember when I was like in middle school, there was a storm that came through. It was probably, it might have been Andrew. I don't know, 2000. It should have been 2002. I was about 12 or 13. And I'm looking outside. And I was like, Daddy, I want to go out there and play because it was raining, you know. Not that they ever let me play in the rain anyway, but I wanted to play in the hurricane. And my dad was just like, it's a hurricane, baby. You can't you can't go out there. Like, it's not regular rain. It's wind. It's all of that. But last, that tw- in 2017, I remember Irma. So now they're saying this hurricane could come. And the the path that is going, we know how these hurricanes do, y'all. But all y'all that live in Florida, it was Charlie. Charlie. Okay, I said Andrew. Okay, it was Charlie. It's in 2012, in 2002, which I would have been 12, but it was Charlie. But um, so you know how these storms are, we don't necessarily know where it's gonna go. But you need to prepare, right? So I looked up some things that you want to have in your house when you prepare for the hurricane water so I, they're saying have one gallon three like three ga- one gallon per person per day if you know if you're going to prepare, prepare for the storm one gallon per person per day if you're going to evacuate you need to have three gallons if you're going to stay in the house they send you have you need to have up to two weeks worth of this stuff right this is why people are buying like 10 bottles 10 cases of 10 cases of 24 ounce i feel like you got to do all that you ain't that's too much it's other people that need water too you know i don't have no water yet can somebody please give me some gallons because i don't have no water yet and from my understanding all the water gone so i'm hoping i've got some water at her house honey because my body needs some water right so there's you're supposed to have a gallon per person up to three of you if you're evacuating up to two weeks if you're staying home you don't need that much y'all but i understand so the, the, and the reason they say the gallons is because you, you can drink them and you can kind of wash off with them if you don't have any water right you want to have non-perishable food so canned food veggies um they're saying canned meat the only canned meat i know is tuna and i guess you can get like canned chicken um yeah um they say like snacks like crackers peanut butter things that you don't necessarily have to have in the refrigerator so i went in my fit i went in my house and i'm just like what i am i ready am am i ready on um for for the storm right i'm all kind of ready i gotta just get my water someone just said on my facebook that bravo on hillsborough has has water i hope walmart on hillsborough got some water when i leave here today because (laughs) Come on, like y'all. Like I said, I, I know that we got to prepare for this storm, but um, don't don't overdo it. Think about all the other people that need to get stuff too, right? You know, it, I may only need to get six six um gallons of water. I should better get my six. I shouldn't have to worry about you getting forty of them just because they there, right? And now my baby needs some water. I need to get some some nursing water for my baby, you know, but. Anyway, make sure you guys prepare. Let's not take it lightly. You know, and if the storm bypasses and if it if it right now they're they're anticipating it's gonna be a category four by the time they touch um touch Florida. And that should be about Monday. Monday to Tuesday, they're anticipating it's gonna hit land. Now, a lot of times when, when these storms when they hit land, they slow down. Unlike tornadoes. So hurt you know, tornadoes they start on land and um and they're gonna they'll kind of speed up, but these hurricanes once they hit land they'll kind of slow down a little bit. But they're anticipating that this storm is going to be a category four once they hit once they hit Florida. And like I said, they're talking about Monday. First I saw Monday, now I'm seeing Tuesday, and that's gonna it's gonna hit on the west coast, right? But that's as of today, right now. Tomorrow morning we could wake up and it could shift. So we don't know. But be prepared, right? Have your plan. Figure out where your family's gonna be at. Get you some flash. That was another thing you need to have some flashlights. Right, have some flashlights. Have an extra charger that no one's using that's already charged up. So all you gotta do is plug your phone up to it, so you can have some electricity. Make sure you got some candles. Get a flashlight. Make sure you guys are prepared. You don't want to be in a situation where you don't know what to do. Because one thing that happened with Arma, what what I did see was the storm wasn't that bad, but it was the aftermath. Right, the the, the stores were closed. Things things shut down. So let's be smart about it. Let's be smart about it. You don't want to necessarily be in the storm. 
where um and you don't have what you need especially people that have him now that i have a little baby i'm like okay i gotta make sure she got food she has x y and z i'm not gonna be in the storm not prepared so i'm telling you guys do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying i'm hoping that wherever you if you gotta go on bravo next to crunch um do that but get you some supplies Get you some supplies. So we'll be right back on Trap Talk Radio, but make sure that you guys tune in. Make sure you text your friends at www.intouchnews.com because when we come back, we're talking about Missy Elliott. We're talking about Future. We're going to talk about Flav's Barbecue Honey right here in Tampa, Florida. So we'll be right back on Trap Talk Radio. Jazz at Miss Connie's House is brought to you by Ray Williams Funeral Home, providing the highest quality, professional, and caring service for your family. Call Jeffrey Rhodes at 813-253-3419. That's 813-253-3419. Or visit him at 301 North Howard Avenue, Tampa, Florida. Ray Williams Funeral Home for the finest care and quality service. Hi, this is Dr. Veronica Walters, also known as Dr. V, the head of school at the Walters Academy for Entrepreneurship, a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded? Then maybe you need to check The Way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based, project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at The Way. Y'all, this is Trap Talk Radio. Trap Talk, trap music, and trap possibilities with Madam CJ and Rick D with two C's. Anything else is disrespectful right here on In Touch Radio. Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. Make sure you guys are calling in and talk to me. 813-444-9588. Again, it's 813-444-9588. Shout out to Rick D. He is somewhere in the world right now. I believe today he's in Las Vegas. Um, Yeah. But shout out to him. He's been working very, very hard. Been working hard for the family, doing what he has to do. And I know he's been going for a few weeks, but trust me, you guys, he misses you and he'll be back as soon as he can. But we wish him safe travels. Hurry up and come back home. Come back home. So we're right here on Trap Talk Radio. We were just talking about preparing for the storm. Um, and uh, I was I was just talking about on break the telemarketers. How are these people getting our numbers? If you guys know how people are getting our numbers, that's gonna call for your 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 warranty. Yeah, I'm not a homeowner yet, right? But somebody calling me for the shutters on my house. Who are these people? How do they get my number? Tell me how. I really believe that someone has sold our numbers to someone. Like I feel like these companies, these telemarketing companies, are bidding on something, and they sold our they sold our numbers. So, anyway, speaking of selling, this particular person has sold out stadiums. Has blown us away completely, Missy Elliott. If you know who Missy Elliott is, please share my broadcast. Right. So she has. She was getting giving at the VMAs. That was Monday. She was given a, a video award. And please forgive me if I say it wrong. I, I believe it's a Michael Jackson Vanguard Award. I believe that's the appropriate title. And it's basically for music videos. Missy Elliott is known for her amazing amazing crazy videos i remember the video i can't stand the rain my mom hated that video but it's like if you look back at it, it's like she was for one she was just in a trash bag 
right? But it was so iconic, right? She was just in a trash bag. But it's like Missy Elliott. I mean, past that Dutch. I mean, and, and then the song that um, if you if you worked it, no, we work it. I'm sorry, no, we reversed it. Don't nobody know what she said, but we all want to make that sound like we all want to do that. <laughs> We all want to do it, but no, none of us know what she said, right? But Missy Elliott killed her VMA performance. Like, it was so thought out. It, it almost reminded me of Beyonce, how it was like a uh, a per, uh, entire production, right? And so, but one of the things that killed, that took me over the edge when I was watching this Missy Elliott performance was Allison Stoner. She was the little girl, the little white girl in the Miss, in the, in the Work It video, and my girl came back on stage and she killed it. She didn't just dance. She killed her 15 seconds. I've watched this video and this girl in this yellow outfit and in this fade like 30 times. If you have not seen the clip, once again, you guys need to watch the VMA performance of Missy Elliott performing this past Monday. It was absolutely amazing. And I haven't danced in a while, but as a dancer, I love that she dedicated her performance to dancers and to, and to the dance world and basically letting letting professional dancers know you're not just props. Like, you really bring the show to the next level. And I believe that even her performance, she probably could have performed all those songs, right? We would have still got up. We would have sung every word. But it wouldn't have been the same without, without the choreography and it would not have been the same with the dancers that she had on her that on her team and that performed with her. But honey, when I say Allison, honey, she even though Allison, my, I feel like she about my age. She probably 29, 30. So that means when that came out, she probably was 12 or 13, right? She still killed that dance as if she was 12 or 13 years old. Killed it. I mean, it was amazing. If you've seen the performance, call in, talk to me, 813-444-9588. Call in and tell me what, is your, what was your favorite part of the performance. But it was great. It was so good to see Missy Elliott. Um, and it was so good to see all of the different types of the different videos that she brought back, right? So, you know, she did, and, and what she did on stage, which was, I thought was so cool, she just kind of did like little clips of like iconic um, scenes of the videos that we would, re that we would remember. So, and she had some kids up there. I, you know, we, everybody love to see some kids dancing. I don't know what it is about kids and dancing, especially when they can really dance. My daddy used to, I, we used to go to the mall and they used to have like talent shows. And I used to say, daddy, let me, you know, can I go up there and dance? He was like, nah, you got to practice first. My parents was not with that. They was not with me going anywhere, performing half nothing. Cause he used to say, you're not going to embarrass yourself. He was not with it. He was not with it. Parents, stop putting your kids up when they can have dance and they can have sing. Okay? Make sure that y'all practice with them in the house somewhere. Make sure y'all know what they're going to sound like before they get on stage and, and look a fool. Now, Grand X, they still cute. They are still cute when they get up there. Even if they sound horrible, they're still cute. But at least practice with them. Don't let them hit that high note if they could just stay in alto. Right? They, they ain't, they're not, if they're not a soprano... Let them say, let them say it alto. So even if they're not gonna sound their best, they still sound all right, right? Parents, please. I'm a parent now, so I'm I'm in the group. I'm in the group too. You know, let's all collectively make sure that we're looking out for our kids, even even in that regard. <laughs> even in that regard, make sure that you let them like you know do a little practice. But um, but yeah. So the Missy Ellie performance was amazing. I hope that I hope that this does something for her because I feel like a lot of times people like her, you know. If we just talk about her videos, there's one thing, but let's think about how many people that she's that she's has she's written for and um, songs that she's on. You may not even know that she's singing. Like Missy Elliott really is an icon, and she was just honored with I think it's the Berkeley University. It might be another name, but she has a doctorate degree from there. I, from my understanding, it was an honorary, but I heard recently that it was it might have been earned, but I thought it was an honorary. But either way, she's Doctor Missy Elliott now. So make sure you call her by her the, her appropriate name and give her her respect. Put some respect on her name. Put some respect on her name. Speaking of respect, so. If you're in Tampa, I'm pretty sure you know about Flay's Barbecue. If you don't know about Flay's Barbecue, they are the they are one of the best barbecue places in Tampa, Florida. One of the best barbecue places in Tampa, Florida. 
Now, they have a special place in my heart because I've worked with them, right? I did some consulting work with them. And um, back in 2016, I think my contract with them was 2016 to 2017. So we worked together for about a year. So I seen the potential in them. They seen potential in me. We worked together. We supported each other. And they are at another level now. So you know with the whole chicken sandwich thing coming out with Popeyes and Chick-fil-A and all of that. So Flaves came out with their own sticky icky chicken sandwich right now in the midst of that in the midst of that they had some um not everybody liked the way that they promoted their their, their chicken sandwich right but they did it and everything there's an opportunity of improvement there's always a way that you can do things but today honey they released the, the chicken sandwich and what happened was they put up a picture of a sandwich and they were putting up the picture saying that it was inspiration for the for their chicken sandwich which they came out with they did what they said they came out with it and they released it people took it because it wasn't they didn't come out verbatim and said that this the sandwich was not going to look exactly like that so people took it as if they were alluding to something else but they were just saying hey this is inspiration of our sandwich and this is what it's going to come out with so but today they released the exact sandwich that they actually put up i'm so proud of these guys i'm proud of these guys because they're true to who they are right like them like them or hate them no matter what you say they are true to who they are and they are being successful one thing i know about them they know how to make money and one thing that we can all learn from them is they promoted this sandwich, regardless if you were mad at them or not. They promoted this sandwich for almost a week, right? When they released this sandwich on that day, they sold out. They sold out. Every other post was about this sandwich and, 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 and about their other meals that they sell, but they sold out. Why did they sell out? Because they was persistent. Why did they, why did they sell out? Because they didn't care what anyone said about them. They kept it. They kept on going. And they delivered. So even when the initial sandwich came out with that sold out on Monday, so say what you want about them, as they would say, pull up. <laughs> pull up <laughs> if you got a problem. I'm not promoting that at all, but that's, that is what they say. That's, it's all on their social media. Pull up. But as they would say, pull up, right? Even though, it, if it, regardless if you like the sandwich or not, if you, they still sold out. People came, if they came to hate, if they came to support, they still spent their money. Right, they still spent their money. Not only that, Chef Flav is an amazing chef. He really is talented. I've had several conversations with him about what he can do and how he can make his recipes better. And this is not me advising him. This is just me listening. Right? I'm just like, oh, I want to taste that. Like, oh, you know, he's so he's it, it's all in his mind. He's one of those people. Chef Flav is one of those people that, um. You can he can taste some food and he'll be able to tell you the ingredients that are inside of it, right? He's that skilled. He came out with the what the sandwich that he posted and they posted it today and said, "Oh, this is what y'all want." And people came and bought that and they sold out of food. You guys, I went over there today to get me some food. I wanted to show you guys their food on air, and you want to know what they were sold out. They were sold out. So say what you want about them. They're selling out of food every day. Every single day. They're right there on 22nd and Hillsborough, right behind the Walgreens. There's a plaza um, right behind the Walgreens. Check them out. I'm telling you. Check them out. You can go get some barbecue. And it's, now they're calling it Flav, seafood, um, Flav Barbecue and more because they have seafood. They have they call they, they call them dirty boiled peanuts. They got crabs and they do boiled peanuts. What do they do today? Well, you see people that have crabs and they boil peanuts. Flav's have it. They got crabs and they boil peanuts. Right. I'm so proud of these guys. I'm so proud of them. I cannot wait till next week when they had them boiled peanuts because I, I saw the post. Y'all, y'all said next week. So I'm going to be waiting and lurking for them peanuts because the last time I had those peanuts, I was pregnant with Legacy. Right. And me and her both enjoyed those crabs and them peanuts all together. They, they were delightful. They were delightful. So please check out Flay's Barbecue and let's learn from them. Let's learn from, you know, the, the good and bad that they may have done. But what they, what they did do is they advertised and they stuck through the paint. They stood in the paint. They said, like it or love it. Hated it, hate it or love it, the underdogs on top. And I'm going to shine. Y'all remember that 50 cent? Go ahead and envy me. Anyway, they stood in the paint and they were successful. They had an amazing amazing monday they sold out today it's only thursday right it's only thursday 
They, they still got Friday, Saturday. The, the only time that they chill out is on Sunday. So I wish you guys a successful week. I wish you guys a successful week. I'm hoping I can get something tomorrow. But I did want to. I wanted to show y'all their food on on air. But once again, once again, they sold out. But what I did show on my social media was, y'all, it is pumpkin season. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't know about anybody else. But I love. I love, I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin coffee. I love pumpkin muffins. Um, what, whatever else, pumpkin, whatever. I love pumpkin. Y'all, we gotta give it up for some pumpkin. Pumpkin season is here. Please go buy something that's in the stores. I put it on my social media. I was like, there is a God. Like God brought us back to the pumpkin. Right. And not a lot of people like pumpkin, but I'm telling y'all, like, don't sleep on the pumpkin. I cannot wait till pumpkin coffee is at Wawa. Like I've been going there every day saying, Okay, is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Like I love pumpkin anything. So the pumpkin season is here. I actually asked Chef Flav, I said, Could you make something with pumpkin for me? And he's like, He don't like pumpkin. So he said, you know, he don't know. But I'm gonna try to convince him to come out with like a pumpkin cinnamon bun or something like that so I can have it. And maybe they'll name it CJ. And they'll probably sell out of that too. But pumpkin season is here. But when we come back, you guys, we're going to be talking about Future and his new baby mama and not baby mama, whatever. Oh, we got a call. Let's hold off. We got a call. Hey, this is Trap Talk Radio. Who do we have on the line? I'm just trying to see how many black folks like pumpkin. Oh, do you like pumpkin? You know black folks don't like pumpkin. I know they don't, but I love pumpkin. (laughs) And Mr. Dale, you know I love pumpkin, too. You know I do. You know, if you took a survey, one in ten, maybe a half in ten would like pumpkin. We'll see. I'm going to do a survey on my Facebook, and I'm going to see what they say. Exactly. Do a survey. But but at any rate, uh, I was listening in, and you were talking about the... uh, Slaves, uh, 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 what, what, what kind of food do they sell over there? So they sell barbecue. They sell um, mostly fried food and barbecue. But they'll do like surf and turf. So they'll have a lobster and some ribs. And just they, whatever they're feeling. So now they, they just released a chicken sandwich. The icky, stick, icky sticky chicken sandwich. It's called the icky sticky chicken yep, sandwich? Yep. Because it's, 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 it's Flav's secret sauce. It's a sauce that he puts on his chicken wings, on his shrimp. So now he put that on a chicken sandwich. And that's their chicken sandwich. And they sold out of it. In a matter of hours. Oh, matter of hours. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I got to try. You got to go by there. They, you got to go by there, man. They are good. I'm telling you guys, support Flaves. They're right there on 22nd and Hillsborough, right behind the Walgreens. They out here. They're trying to make it. They hustlers. They trapping. They doing it. They killing the game right 22nd now. 22nd and Hillsborough. Okay. Yeah. Is, is it in that little, uh, that, that building that's kind of like, Yep, they're in the little plaza, and you guys tell them that CJ sent you. Please tell them that CJ sent you. Um, they know that I have a special love for them, but it's in that little plaza. You're right, OG Dale, right, right behind the Walgreens, that little plaza. There was a beauty school there. Um, yeah. they're right there, and in Sweet B, they're right there. They're gonna be open tomorrow at eleven o'clock. Okay, all right, lady, thank you so much. I right, see you later. All right, peace. Well, so we'll be right back, you guys. We're gonna be talking about future and his baby mama or not baby mama. And how they're all wrapped up in this court system. Future got to get it together. I don't know what he got going on, but don't be like Future. Be the future, but don't be like Future. Be right back on Trap Talk Radio. This is Trina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. 
This is Linda Archie with Taiyu Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. When it comes to reality radio, everyone is a star. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. On your smooth soul and R&B station. On the World Wide Web. In Touch Radio. Hey, this is Trap Talk Radio. Trap Talk, Trap Music, and Trap Possibilities with Madam CJ and Rick D with two C's. Anything else is disrespectful right here on In Touch Radio, Reality Radio, where everyone is a star. So, before I go into future, I want to start something where... Um, if there's any if there's any mixologists or any bartenders out there, please contact us because I would love for um, us to let our our followers know and our people that are listening know that there's a drink that they can be drinking. I want to have a featured drink for Trap Talk Radio every time we come on air and we can release it a few days before so people can go buy the ingredients and they can make this drink at home, right? So if you know any bartenders or any... Um, thank you, Dad. My dad's watching me. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Aww. Um, so if you know any bartenders or any mixologists or anything like that, let us know. And I want to kind of incorporate that into Trap Talk Radio. So when our viewers are watching, they can be sipping on their drink. Make sure that you guys have a, a, a virgin, virgin, uh, virgin, virgin of the drink. So all of those beautiful expecting mothers, they can go ahead and have a drink, too. I, that was one thing I didn't really like about, have, you know, being pregnant with Legacy. I would just like, look, can I... I just want to have a drink every now and then. Can I have a virgin margarita, please? Can somebody please give me a virgin margarita? But no one wanted to give me one. So I want to make sure that when we connect with these bartenders, and it's going to give you guys exposure, we'll make sure that people know who you are. We'll make sure that people um, know who your brand is. But we want to have a drink. I want to try to do that. Have a drink incorporated with, with the show so you guys can be sipping on your drink and y'all can be involved in the show. And we really, really appreciate it. So... Future. Y'all know who Future is. He is an artist. He is a rap artist. Um, he's pretty big. He's a pretty big deal. He has a baby with Sierra along with about five other women. Right. So there's a girl um called her name is Elza Rain. She's actually in from down south. Excuse me. She's claiming that she had Future's seventh child. I have in my notes seven or eight because there's potentially another baby, so you can potentially have eight kids. So she has she came up months ago she came up months ago saying that she was pregnant with future child and he was trying to get her killed and all this stuff but now the beautiful baby's here his little girl she's here now and so now she's going after future for pater for paternity test to try to prove that he is a father of the child i've seen a picture of the little girl on her instagram and she does look like sierra's son right she does look like sierra's son but hey whatever but he also is um he he's filed some paperwork so, so she can have a gag order on her so basically what that means you guys if you're not familiar with um you know if you're not familiar with the legal terms when someone issues motions to have a have for you to have a gag order they basically want you to shut up right they want you to be quiet for whatever you're talking about you tell them too much of their business you tell them too much of y'all business put it up but be cute as shanita would say shout out to shanita my god sister be cute and put it on mute be real cute and put it on mute that is what future wants that's what future wants um th this girl to do he wants her to be quiet but future i'm trying to figure out what he got going on why do you have already six baby mamas already never mind the other two that just came along so then he posts I'm telling you guys future posted on his instagram to uh, they have uh, what you say Clearly, he likes to spread his seeds around. You know, clearly, he wants to have a garden. But he posted on his Instagram story today, I have five wives. What the heck is that? 
Like, who told him that this is cute? Granted, there are some cultures out there. There's some cultures out there that believe in um, polygamy, right? But my thing is future. Those are not your wives. They're your baby mamas. Like, you didn't go and, and, and marry these women. That you, you're not doing this for religious reasons. You know, but you out here just having babies with these people. Like, what are you doing? And I believe, like, that type... I have a problem with that. Because, like, that type of persona, that type of image that he's putting out there's so many people that are watching him right and of course everyone is going to be their own individual they have to make their own decisions but you out there talking about you have five wives or you have five baby mamas there's a difference there is a difference <laughs> a, wife, a wife can put a plug on you right uh, a wife has some say so baby mama's a child you know she's going to be there for the child but that ain't cute and you got five and six of them potentially eight potentially eight baby mamas potentially eight baby mamas come on future like you don't have enough time like you have too much time on your hands you need to be making some music make some music tell me how you guys feel about that call in let me know 813-444-9588 i'm not with it i don't approve of it i'm not you know that and god god forgive me for judging <laughs> You know, he has way too much time on his hands. I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> My DJ over here is cutting up. Y'all, he cutting up with me today. So, I mean, I, I don't agree with God forgive me for judging, but I just think it ain't cute. It ain't cute, future. Like, figure your life out. You know what I'm saying? You go, now, now, now you got this. Now you have this very public situation with this girl saying that you are the father of her child. Now you want to put a gag on the owner. Like, you ain't got to do that. Like, just stop having kids with all these women. Choose one woman. And have a bunch of babies with them. If that's what you choose to do. You know? But then let's not glorify you being a whole uncle. Let's not glorify it. Like, that's that's what for him to say he has five wives and he didn't marry. He had five baby mamas. Like, let's not get that. Let's not and it, it almost it, that lets me know that I mean, he, he thinks it's cute. He's a grown man, he has money, whatever. It ain't it ain't where it's at because these these kids are gonna grow up in these environments. So this is another thing I've heard guys say. I've heard guys as recently as like last week say, you know, when they have baby mamas, depending on how their mentality is, they feel like they're like they they own that woman, like that woman can't move on. That's not right. So for him to say, and, and that's what I guess that's what I'm alluding to. For him to say he has five wives, you. Do you have that mentality too? Now these women can't move on with their lives. Now clearly Sierra was just like, look, I ain't got time for it. Sierra not a part of that number. She said she didn't want to be in the number. <laughs> Sierra did not want to be in the number, honey. She said, call her out. She was not trying to be in the number of that foolishness. And I'm very proud of her. You know, I'm very, very proud of Sierra that she did not want to be a part of that. But that was it. Don't don't be like future. Okay. And and, and then and then the bigger issue is with a girl. Ease of range. They're, they're saying that um that, she, that he's that future's not taking care of his kids. That's what that that's what the biggest issue is. You know what I'm saying? He's not claiming the baby, and essentially he's not taking care of the baby. So future, step it up. You got all this money. Slide the girl a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand. Really, you could be sliding a couple thousand. He could be sliding by five thousand for her money. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least five thousand should be able to take care of the baby. That that should be able to provide you with a decent home, a car, daycare. Y'all should be y'all should have no financial worries with five or six thousand dollars a month. They should be they should be good. They should be good, right? So I just want to let you guys know that. So if you guys want to be a sponsor, if you want to make sure that you are a part of our show and you want your brand to be broadcast on our show, you want me to talk about you, I'm going to interview you, let me know. We would love to have you. We would love, love, love to have you. But once again, do not forget, if you, are, if you know a bartender or if you are a bartender or a mixologist, let us know. Please contact us because I want to start having our listeners and our followers be able to sip a drink and a feature drink that we're going to have that particular week. But this week, we actually have painting and a trap in a couple places. We have West Palm Beach tomorrow. We'll be in West Palm. The event is actually so sold out. We were going to have Tampa and Sarasota, but because of the storm, we're thinking we're going to postpone the event so we can make sure that everyone prepares and have time to do everything that they need. But you guys know September's coming up and we have a bunch of dates 
all over the country. We have from Miami to Louisiana. Make sure if you want to come to the trap, go to www.paintingonthetrap.com. Make sure, make sure, make sure that you get your tickets well in advance because our events are known to sell out. They're known to sell out. We thank you guys for listening. We'll be here next week, next Thursday, God's willing. You guys be safe during the storm. Make sure you have a plan together. Get what you need. We'll be right here next Thursday on Trap Talk Radio. Have a good night. Trap talk, trap talk, trap talk.